Well, um, I would say it was better. You know, I would say it's still far from what we need, um, but it was better. Um, thought we played with some excitement tonight, today. I mean, there was some times, especially defensively, where the guys were excited, um, you know, and played with some enthusiasm, and I thought we played, you know, we played more physical. You know, we started hitting. Uh, that's one thing that we have done, you know, that's happened around here for a long time. And really, um, last year as well, we, we played physical. We didn't really play very physical last week. And so I um, thought we improved that way this week. You know, it was kind of it was a frustrating game a little bit at times. Um, you know, we just didn't capitalize offensively on some opportunities, and it was, it was frustrating. Um, and, but, you know, um, I'll say this. I, I, I told Tim after the game, I mean, I got a lot of respect for the way Nichols played. I mean, those guys, I thought they really played well uh, defensively up front. I thought they had a good scheme. They did a good job. Their safety got in the run fit and gave us fits all night. Um, you know, we weren't able to run the ball like we need to, to to have a good football team. And so those are things that we have to improve. And we just, you know, too many execution miscues, you know, two touchdowns called back. Um you know, you just can't do that kind of stuff. Another red zone turnover. Uh, and, you, you know, we do that. And when we get into Big 12 play, uh, you know, we're going to have a hard time beating anybody. Coach, Coach, on that play where Josh fumbled by the goal line, was there an opportunity for Chandler to come back in the game? Or did they tell you guys? Yeah, no. So what, he lost his helmet. So there was a little bit of a conversation. We could have called a timeout. Um, but, you know, we wanted Josh to have some experience anyway. So it felt like that was a chance to – Get him in and get him a play, and and so we didn't. We elected to just put him in the game and hand the ball off as opposed to using a timeout. What was your overall assessment of how Chandler played tonight? You know, it's always hard to judge quarterbacks. I mean, obviously he ran the ball well. You know, he was a spark for us uh, running the ball. Um, you know, and when you look at the stats, we completed a high percentage of our throws. We didn't throw the ball down the field much. You know, we were we – were, it was more kind of underneath things. Um, you know, I thought he made good decisions. I thought he did a better job uh, this week taking care of the ball. Um, so, I mean, I think, I think a step in the right direction. Coach, special teams have been big for you the first two games. Can you give us your uh, thoughts on how they played? Yeah, yeah. You know, obviously the, the punt block was big. You know, that's, it's all – anytime you can get off to a quick start like that, that's a big deal. Uh, because we were struggling offensively to get much going. Um, you know, it was good to see, um, you know, Trent make a, a, a the block and, um, you know, it was a big play for us, you know, and I thought we did some good things uh, special teams-wise. You know, I thought we were pretty decent in kickoff return again. Um, I felt like Major was close once or twice to getting out. And then I know JoJo had a couple of good punt returns. Um, you know, and we covered kicks fairly well. So, you know, some positives that way. Um, you know, again, just kind of for me, I wanted to see us get in a little bit more sync offensively, and, and we struggled to do that. And, again, I think you got to give Nichols credit for that. But we, we've, got to, we've got to play better, and it just seems like we make, make a lot of mistakes. We've got to get all of those mistakes corrected. In, in, in terms of tonight's game, what did you think about the running game, and especially in particular the, the, the um, offensive line? Yeah, you know, um, well, like I said earlier, there's, you know, there, there are times when it seemed to us for, for us tonight, there were times when, you know, we lost some one-on-one -on -one battles up front, you know, with our offensive line. Um, and then there were other times when, you know, they, they got somebody down in the, in the, in the box, you know, a safety down that's unaccounted for from the offensive line. So there, were, there was enough blame to kind of go around with everybody. Um, but, you know, we have to play better up front. You know, I just think that, that um, you know, that group should be a, a dominant group, and I don't think we were dominant tonight. The special teams, can you talk about Griffin Kell? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, Griff, uh, Griff that was a huge field goal at the end of the first half. I mean, uh, what was that, 55 yards? 
57, yeah, 57 yarder. I mean, he probably could have been good from 65. I mean, he, he kicked the heck out of that thing. Um, yeah, I mean, look, when you have a kicker like Griffin, that's a weapon. I mean, it really is. And, and um, kicked the ball really, really well tonight. It was good to see him bounce back, as you said. Um, you know, he's, he's got a big leg. He's done a great job kicking off for us this year. And, and like I said, nailed, nailed two big field goals tonight. What did you see from Nichols' defensive scheme to feel like he threw out of rhythm a little well, you know, I think just, again, I, I give their players and, and staff a lot of credit. I mean, they, they did a nice job keeping us off balance. Um, as I said, a lot of different stunts up front with, uh, with, with the defensive front, got the safety involved in the run game a lot. Um, you know, we just had a hard time getting, getting much going running the ball. And so, you know, those are things we've got to get corrected. Uh, we've got to get improved on. And, and um, you know, good thing is we, we were able to – to win the football game and, and, you know, not play probably as well as we, we could have played offensively. I was pretty happy with what, what we did on defense, honestly. Keeping anybody out of the end zone I think is a difficult thing to do. Um, and as I said earlier, we played a lot of players on defense. And so I was very encouraged to see um, – I was very encouraged to see the way some of those young players played. You didn't have to the quarterback. Was that an error you thought you saw some progress in tonight? Yeah, yeah, I think so at times, certainly. Yeah, at times, certainly. I think, again, especially when we got some of the young guys in the game, I was encouraged by the way we were able to rush the quarterback late in the game uh, with some of those guys as well. So, you know, we'll go back and look at it and see. You know, I thought we pressured the quarterback better this week out of, out of our three-man our three front. Uh, we, we were able to get some pressure at times, and then when we went some four-man front, we pressured him as well. Uh, and so that was good to see. Coach, you talked about Jordan Bailey a few times in fall camp, and he had two explosive plays tonight. What what do you think uh, his involvement can be in this offense? Yeah, yeah. The, the good thing about Jordan, he just plays so fast. I mean, you know, he gets his hands on the ball, and you know, there's never any hesitation. I mean, he's going a million miles an hour, and I think that's the that's what he brings. It's just that um, that kind of speed and dynamic playmaking ability. But he just does it consistently. You know, he runs fast and. When you run fast like he does, man, it's difficult to cover. And when you get your, get your hands on the ball in the open field, uh, it could be hard to tackle as well. So, um, you know, I was, um, I was, it was glad, glad to see him do what he did. We'll go two more questions. It was just four of twelve, I think, on third downs tonight. Um, yeah, we got to get a lot better. Yeah, just not very good. Um, not very good on third down at all. You know, and again, we had some third and shorts where. We didn't run the ball particularly well, and and um, yeah, we've got we've got to do a lot better on third down. Coach, tonight you guys played well. It, it, it seemed that you guys were really focusing on kind of the second string uh, wide receivers. What was behind that? Yeah, yeah, we had some guys who were banged up. Um, you know, Savion really didn't practice much this week. He was sick, and um, it was a was had a little bit of a muscular injury. So we we tried to to not play him today, uh, and it was it was because of injury, John Paul. Richardson was kind of the same thing. He played a couple of plays, but we tried to limit him as much as we could just because of, um, you know, some, some injuries. And, you know, it's good to get some other guys some playing time, but we're going to have to, you know, our receivers have got to play more consistent. Those guys have got to step up. We've been, you know, it's good to see, you know, Warren Thompson make some plays and do some good things, and Jalen Robinson got involved. But, you know, we've just got to get more consistent at that position. Thanks, Coach. Okay, thank you guys. Appreciate it.